Hello everyone, Mr. Nacho here and today we'll be talking about a contender for the best weapon in the game and this time it's not Breaker, this time it will be of course the Plus One Scorcher. I think that this could be the best weapon in the game, it has lots of different strengths, some weaknesses and it does a different thing that the Breaker does. So you might want to consider it for specific scenarios. So when it comes to the stats, it says that it does 100 damage, it has a capacity of 15 rounds, it has 20 recoil and a fire rate of 250. It's a semi-automatic weapon, so it just means that the faster you click, the more it will fire. And the traits of it are that it's light armor penetrating, but it's also explosive. And explosive is its greatest strength and greatest weakness at the same time, because whenever there are enemies very close by, whenever you shoot them, it will actually also damage you. And if you are not wearing a specific armor, it will one shot you and you'll just be dead. But what explosive lets you do is you can, for example, with four shots, destroy a spore spewer. So this huge mushroom that obscures the vision on the map. And also within like two, maybe two and a half magazines, you'll be able to take down a charger if you only shoot at its weak spot uh, at its back. So it's absolutely insane versus robots, but versus bugs, you need to be very wary of when you shoot and you need to have some trigger discipline because whenever there are some leapers or stalkers or hunters around and they jump at you and you try to shoot them, it will actually damage you because of the explosion. When it comes to a secondary, we just have the redeemer because there is no better weapon right now. And when it comes to a grenade, we also go for the G16 impact grenade, which will also explode whenever it touches something. So you have a better incentive and better sense of how far away from the enemies you should stay, because just the same as the plus one scorcher, it will actually damage you if the enemies are too close and you detonate the grenade. Except from the skill, there are actually two things that we can do to prevent dying from damage from the explosions. The first one is the armor FS38 Eradicator. It says that it reduces recoil and provides 50% resistance to explosive damage. So whenever we actually get damaged by our own weapons, it will only do 50% of the normal damage. I understand that this is a light armor and on top of that, it's a premium armor. So you can only get it whenever it rotates in the premium shop, but there are other armors that actually do the same thing. The only problem is that they are all heavy armors. So I just bought this one simply because it's a light one and right now the armor rating is not working correctly. So you will be best off using this armor. But if you don't have it, the other way that you can prevent self damage is it's by using shield generator backpack. It will take some damage before you actually die from your own shots. So that's good. It's just not the best idea to remove the shield with your own stuff. Whenever you are learning this weapon, this would be a great thing to throw on. And the only thing that really prevents you from using is some of the stratagem weapons that have a backpack with them. So you could use the arc thrower. It's always a good choice. You could use a grenade launcher because uh, you don't really have a very good way to close down holes except for your grenades. Of course, railgun is always a very decent choice. It's one of the, if not the best weapon in the game. Flamethrower is also very powerful. I understand that some people don't like it but I think that it's great and also the expendable anti-tank is very good option it has almost no cooldown at all and you can just spam those without having to worry about it too much of course the stalwart of or the machine gun will be great but more so on the lower difficulties on higher difficulties there are way more enemies with armor so it won't be as useful but it'll still be very very okay all right so your loadout would look something like this 
you would want to go for the shield generator pack, the weapon stratagem of your choice. So we'll go with the railgun as it will be the most useful. If you have the eagle fully upgraded, then I would recommend going with the 500 kg bomb. And then on top of that, trying to go with the cluster bomb. And of course, the muscle enhancement and stamina enhancement are absolutely great. So this would be the basic loadout that you would want to go with. If you don't have the eagle absolutely upgraded, I would go with the orbital rail cannon strike and then the orbital laser as well. So this is a final setup. Of course, when it comes to the equipment, we have the FS-38 Eradicator that reduces our damage from explosions. We have the Plus One Scorcher, Uzi and the Impact Grenades. So this would be the entire setup. Let me just show you right now a full mission. I don't know why, but on difficulty 8, I must have missed it for some reason. Why it's not difficulty 9, but that's okay. It will be just as powerful on difficulty 9. So let me just show you how well this can actually do in a real game. So this is all for the introduction. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, have a great day.
Democracy has landed. Nothing in the chamber. Northwest. Tagging map, north.
an extraction extraction request confirmed shuttle in 